What's up everyone and welcome to another Sketch Saturday tutorial. I'm glad to see you back here today because I'm going to show you some very simple techniques that will help improve your drawing skills each step of the way. In this lesson, we'll be drawing Minion Bob from Despicable Me. Let's begin by sketching a large circle on the top center of our page for the head. Now I'm going to grab my pencil from the side, using the flat edge of my pencil, and we start at the very top. Just work our way around toward the left side, just using these short choppy lines, going all the way down towards the bottom of our circle, and then out towards the right side. Now from here we're going to start adding some guidelines. Let's start with a straight line coming down the center of our circle. So we're going to start at the very top. And you can see that I'm readjusting the, the circle as I go. Bottom. And we'll extend this line all the way down towards the bottom of our page. Let's add another guideline along the side of our circle. So we're going to start on the left, come all the way down towards the bottom, and then on the right. Let's add a few more guidelines going across the center, top, and bottom of our circle. So we'll start on the left, just going across the middle, go up to the top, and then the bottom. Now the body is quite short, so we're going to locate the bottom edge of the body somewhere around here. So let's start on the left, draw a straight line going across. And then we'll round out the bottom edge of the body. Starting on the left side from this point, it's going to curve down and then in. Do the same thing on the right. Now let's move up and block in the eyes. We're going to start halfway between the top of the head and that center line. We're going to start right here. Start with a little line going across. Now from here we're going to sketch out a circle over towards the left side. So we're going to start in the middle. It's going to go out towards the side of our head, down towards that center line, and then back up in the middle. And we'll do the same thing on the right. Coming down, up towards the side of the head, and then back down. And then we'll trace these circles along the inside for the inside edge of the frame, just leaving a little gap all the way around. And then we'll do the same thing on the right. And we'll trace that same circle along the outside. So from the middle, we'll step up. Again, just leaving an even space gap all the way around. Down towards the bottom. And then back up on the inside. And we'll mirror that over on the right. Now we're going to push the iris and pupil towards the inside of the eyes. So we start by locating the center of that inner circle. So right here, start with a little dot. Do the same thing on the right. And then from here, we're going to sketch out a small circle coming in. Go around, and then back up towards the top, and draw that same size circle on the right side. Let's move down and locate the top edge of the mouth. So on the left side, just underneath the goggle, we're going to sketch a line going across from left to right. And then we'll shift the mouth over towards the right side. So we're going to line up with the center of the iris, come down towards this line, sketch a line going across, and we'll just pull that up on the right. And then we'll connect the left and right side with a curve, coming down towards the bottom of the mouth, and we'll bend that back up towards the right. And then from the top of the mouth, we're going to step down and sketch a straight line going across for the edge of the teeth. Now the top edge of the overalls will sit just underneath the mouth. So we're going to start on the left side of the body, sketch a straight line going all the way across from left to right. And right where this line meets the bottom edge of the circle, we're going to sketch a line coming down, and we're just going to bend that out along the bottom. Let's do the same thing on the right. Straight down, and then we'll bend that out. And then from here we're going to step up and sketch a straight line coming in, line this up on the right, and do the same thing. Let's go back up to the top corners of the overalls and draw in the straps. We're going to start on the left side. We're going to curve this up and then out towards the side of the body. Do the same thing on the right. And we'll just thicken this up. We're going to step up, draw the inside of the strap. Coming in 
and then down. Now we're gonna pose this character with the arms coming down along the side. So from this bottom line, we're gonna sketch out a circle, coming in towards this line along the side, and then go back around. Let's draw that same size circle on the right. So we're gonna start on the inside, come down, and then up towards the top. Let's go back up to the bottom of the shoulder strap, curve the arm going out and then down on top of that circle. Let's come back to the center and draw on the legs and feet. So underneath the bottom, we're going to step down, sketch a line going straight across from left to right. And then from that center line, we're going to step out towards the left, curve the leg going up and then blending that out towards the side of the body. Take that same distance over towards the right and do the same thing. Let's leave a gap in the center, go to the left side, curve the foot coming in and then down towards the heel. Go over towards the right, do the same thing. And then we'll round out the bottom of the feet. Starting from the left heel, we're going to curve down and then up towards the toe. And then from the toe, we'll curve the top of the foot going up and then in towards the outside corner of the ankle. Now we're going to add a single pocket in the center of the body. From that center line, we're going to step over towards the left, sketch a short line coming down, take that same distance over towards the right. Now let's connect the bottom with a curve, coming down the middle and then back up. Now once we're happy with the general proportions of our drawing, I'm going to go back in and lightly erase some of these initial guidelines. Now we're going to go in and add a second level of detail. Let's start by adding a small circle in the center of the iris for the pupil. Come all the way around. Do the same thing on the right. And then we'll add the hinge along the side of the goggles. Let's start on the top left. Start with a short line going across. Let's line this up on the right. Do the same thing. Come down along the side. And we'll pull that back in towards the side of the goggle. Let's move down and add some thickness to the arms. From the bottom of the arm, we're going to step in, just trace that same curve, going up and then in. And then from the inside of the wrist, let's define the thumb. We curve in and back out. At the end of the thumb, we'll add a small bracket. Let's do the same thing on the right. Curving around, and we'll add that bracket. And now we'll curl two fingers around the outside, starting from the bottom of the thumb, come down, and just pull that up on the inside. And step down, curl the second finger, coming down, around the side, and then up towards the outside of the wrist. Let's add a thick cuff around the wrist. From the outside of the arm, we'll step out, just get a short line coming up, do the same thing on the inside. Now we're going to connect the ends with a curve, going up the arm and then down. Now it's time to start adding some detail. I'm going to use the tip of my pencil and just trace the iris along the outside. And then on the top left of the pupil, we're going to sketch a small circle just overlapping the edge of the pupil, going all the way around. And then we'll trace the pupil going in behind that highlight. Going all the way around, and then back in. 
and it will fill the pupils in. Just darkening that up, going around that highlight. And then we'll go in with the flat edge of our pencil and shade in the iris, going around that highlight. Let's move out and trace the outer contours of the goggles. We're going to start right in the middle and work our way over towards the left side. Just readjusting these circles as we go. And then we'll move in and trace the inside of the goggles. We'll try to leave an even gap all the way around. Let's continue to trace the contours of our body and add some detail along the way. Let's go in and separate out the teeth. We're going to start in the middle, sketch a line coming down the center. Let's separate the left side in half, and the same thing on the right. And then we'll connect the ends of these lines with a slight curve, coming down and then up, just rounding out the edge of the teeth. Then we'll go back in and start tracing these out. Let's go ahead and darken up the inside of the mouth. Right down here, I'm just going to add a button along the bottom of the straps. Just add a little circle on either side.
and it will overlap the bottom edge of the body on top of the legs. Let's go in with the side edge of our pencil and darken up the hands and the feet. And then we'll add a light even tone across the overalls, starting on the left side. Lightly shade this in. We'll come down across the legs. Now we want to give our drawing some shape and we're going to do that by adding some shadows. Let's start by adding a shadow along the top edge of the eyes. Start on the left side and darken up the top edge and then just fade that out as we come down across the top of the eyes. I'm just blending that out. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting off dark along the top and then just fading that out. And these goggles are also gonna cast a shadow across the face. So let's start on the left. Just feathering in shadow line just underneath the goggle. We're gonna start off a little bit darker, just underneath, and then just blend that out as you come down. It's going to go a little bit heavier on the right side. Now you can see that once we added that shadow, it gives the illusion that the goggles are standing out. Let's add a little bit more shape to the goggles. We're going to start on the outside, starting off dark and then just blending that in. Do the same thing on the right. And we'll add a shadow along the bottom edge of the goggles. Just a very light shade. And also along the top. Now with most of my sketches, I like to imagine that the light's coming from the top left of our page across our character. So the light's going to pick up the highlights along the top edge and cast a shadow along the bottom. So let's start on the left side and add a shadow along the inside of the arm. Starting dark along the bottom, just fading that out as we go up. And then on the right side of the body, we're going to add a darker shadow and then just blend that out as we come in. Also going to go underneath the arm and then along the inside and then along the bottom of the body. So you can go pretty heavy with the shadow along the bottom 
and just fade that out. And then the body's going to cast a dark shadow along the top of the legs. So we start off really dark along the top and then just blend that out. And as we get closer to the end of the drawing, I'm going to add a little bit more detail and refine my shadows. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Bob the Minion. I hope you enjoyed today's sketch lesson. If you did, make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.